Afghan soldiers are being trained to defuse bombs at Camp Black Horse, located outside of Afghanistan's largest city, Kabul. Hundreds are in training to learn how to defuse thousands of Taliban-planted improvised explosive devices, or IEDs, which are planted on and around the country's roads and towns. The United Nations reports that on average, two to three bombs explode every day in Afghanistan, and a total of 868 civilians were killed by explosives last year. Buried or roadside bombs also accounted for 64 percent of the 3,300 coalition troops killed or wounded last year. Camp Black Horse is run by a team of 160 instructors. U.S. Army Major Joel Smith is one of the training program leaders. Our instructors, uh, primarily from the United States, Great Britain, as well as other countries, and they have all been instructors in their home countries, as well as joint schools. They're now here, giving them the same level of instruction, the same standards that we hold our own to. This all comes shortly after NATO handed over the country's security to Afghanistan's newly formed army. But many foreign troops will stay to support and train Afghan forces in order to fill the gap left by foreign troops' withdrawal. They're already at 50 percent or better with equipment and personnel. And in the next 18 months, I expect we will see them fully capable of taking charge without our assistance. The aim is to have 218 explosive disposal teams spread around the country, but Afghan security forces currently have about 60 percent of the bomb specialists they need.